Hey guys, and welcome to my fourth episode of my weekly investment portfolio. Now, this week has been a bit of an interesting week in the world of investing, just to say the least. This week, we had the whole market in meltdown at GameStop. Now, if you don't know what happened with GameStop, uh, basically a hedge fund was involved in GameStop and was trying to short sell the stock and basically manipulate price to where they could buy in at a lower price and sell it at a higher price. Now, some a thread on Reddit, Wall Street Bets, bet you've heard of them this week, uh, picked up on this and they basically took advantage and fair play to them. Now, as you can see by the graph this week, the stock went mental and pretty much showed the potential of what something like a Reddit thread can do to the market if it's got the right sort of momentum and the right sort of things with it. So this stock, which is very short sold and is very leveraged, basically exploded from $47 a share up to up towards the $500 mark. And it's basically summed up this week. And because of that, prices have gone crazy for other things. Now, similar to GameStop, other stocks which are such like this are AMC and BlackBerry. And I think there's one other one as well. And they have had a similar sort of increase in price. Now, as you saw in my last episode, we did pick up some BlackBerry stocks. Now, this week, they have done really well for us. And basically, all the gains in my portfolio this week have been BlackBerry. Now, unfortunately, towards the end of the week, BlackBerry has slipped off and is nowhere near where it was in the beginning of the week. But it has had a similar path here to GameStop. Now, next week will be a very good week for GameStop and basically for the investment world, as we can see how it's going to react after this week. As you can see, a lot of dips and a lot of highs but that is just because GameStop has had its limits stopped and people weren't able to trade or to sell GameStop and a lot of outside interference was happening to try and stop the ride. Now BlackBerry for this week, uh, if I can just load that up. So as you can see it had a really big spike and it spiked towards sort of $25 a share and we were bought in for about 12 so we were pretty much doubling our money off it this week. And because of the panic with GameStop and the idea of it, people were stopping BlackBerry being sold and bought, it did nosedive towards the end of the week. Now, I'm just seeing this as an opportunity basically to get in and buy some more cheaper stocks. Now, BlackBerry, out of the three companies which are currently experiencing this sort of turbulence time in terms of investing, I believe BlackBerry is the best in terms of a company. I believe the software they offer, uh, the contracts they are beginning to source and win, provide a very sustainable future for BlackBerry and I think it will only grow from here on. I think the fact it's tied in with the GameStops and the AMC sort of push in the market at the minute is what is causing a bit of unnerve towards the stock and making people panic sell. They think they're along with them too in terms of a hype train. But I think out of three, BlackBerry has got the best future and it has the most profitable sort of product in terms of sell and it will only get better. So. In terms of BlackBerry, I'm long for BlackBerry. I think I will just keep adding it as time goes on. But if the price does seem to offer around $12 a share, I might become a bit more aggressive in terms of buying it and use most of my weekly sort of investment money on BlackBerry and push for the future. Now, some stocks we picked up last week as well. We also picked up some Ehang, which also saw a bit of a rise um, last week. And then it pretty much nosedived towards the end, similar to the other stocks I've had. Neo as well was one stock we did pick up as well last week, along with Ehang. Uh, they both were pretty similar. They both sort of follow the same sort of trend. They both sort of did well at the beginning of the week and have nosedived since. But these two companies are electrical companies and they will only get better in the future. And we will just keep hold of these and just see how they go. So for the time being, until the sort of market levels out due to GameStop, I am going to try and see what we can do in terms of keeping a little bit of my investments every week into safe investments but i do believe the market is that volatile and i think an aggressive approach is really good so i am sort of looking for newer companies which have a bit of a push for profit and could sort of scale up anywhere near the sort of speed of blackberry and gamestop have done this week but we'll go into that later on and what i'm going to pick up for that as well but that's basically been this week in the investment world it has really been dominated by the gamestop incident and the fact that uh, a lot of trading companies and a lot of brokerages have tried to get involved and limit traders buying and selling stocks. Now, Trading212 did have its issues this week, and a lot of people have reacted badly to that, and have said that they will stop using it. Me, personally, um, 
I will keep using it just for the time being, just because I don't think there's no viable alternative at the minute. And I believe that when it's high volatility, the prices move so much, I very rarely will get in at the right time. For me, I'd rather just average out and continue to buy. And although at the minute I'm having to use this version of the web app, which I don't like, the other version I normally show this show on is very good. For me, I think I find it very easy to use and very sort of good information and the ability to find different things. So that's why I use it personally. So that's pretty much been this week. We have made some gains, but towards the end of the week, it's all sort of gone. And we are only just sort of in profit for my account so far. But this is what happens. Stocks do go up, stocks go down. We don't panic. We stick in long and we just hope for the best for the future. Now, one idea I did have for this week was to amend my portfolio uh, to sell some stocks out. I haven't had the time due to work this week. Uh, I'm due to start a new job in a week. So hopefully I can have the time available to do that some point soon and just sort of set my uh, investment accounts up a bit better for the future. I did go for some very basic dividend stocks and just seeing what's happened over basically in 2021. Having your stock and investment account angled up to the future and what you think will be coming in the future rather than the now is better in terms of a long-term investment in my opinion. Now, if you do have any of your opinions about anything I say through these episodes, please leave them in the comments and maybe in the next episode we can address them, we can talk through them. But now we'll go on to the stocks I've bought for this week and we'll go from there. So starting this week's investments off, this is the first company I'm going for. It's Social Capital and it is a investment firm. Now, normally this is against what I wanted to do at the beginning of the year. Um, it's not a dividend company and it's not a safe sort of blue chip stock. But in this current investment climate, I'm just thinking, why not? I mean, it's very volatile. It's a chance it's a big growth stock and it's got potential for the future. I think it's a correct sort of investment company. It's not like these companies which have been burned this week. And it's got a price which I think can only grow in the future. So we're going to put a £100 in at the stock price of $24 and pick them up. And then hopefully if it performs well over the next couple of months, maybe continue to grow that and build that up as well. Now, I know that at the beginning of the year, we've set out to become a dividend portfolio. But how the stock market has gone for this first month, I'm starting to slightly edge towards a couple of growth stocks and a couple of volatile stocks as well just at a chance of getting some form of profits because the dividend and the blue chip stock have just been a bit stagnant at the minute. So I just like to have a bit of variety in my portfolio as well. And that's what I like about having confident blue chip stocks. They can form a base and I can put a little bit of money into some more volatile and risky choices. And hopefully in the long term, they will pay off. Now, I don't intend to sell any of these stocks anytime soon. And I'm um, in for it for the long run for all these stocks, which I'm currently picking. So for my second stock for this week, it is Sezenonix. Tensenonix. I can't pronounce that name, but you get the drift. Now, this is a company which is working towards, um, it's in the healthcare uh, industry, and it's basically to do with insulin and trying to work out a form of improving how insulin is uh, administered, treated, and all forms of that. Now, obviously, uh, insulin is for diabetes and it's something which, again, is something for the future. They are trying to develop new technology and just to get a better method of distributing insulin into a person. So it's something which can only improve in the future. And I do think at the price it currently is, it's very low. Um, so I'm only going to put in £50 for this for the week. And like I did with the previous stock, we'll just see how that goes as well. And for the rest of the week, I will put it into some of the stocks we have in my portfolio. Now, I don't like to go completely for the risk uh, for this week. I will do these two stocks and I will go for some normal stocks as well, just to increase my portfolio wealth. Now, I'm just gonna give you a quick scroll through my portfolio. We are a couple more stocks which are on the negative for this week. I just think at the minute the market is a bit volatile due to what's happened with the GameStop incident. So everything's just a little, little up and down at the minute. I did manage to get a free share this week, which was Royal Dutch Shell, but I'll swap that out to the Dutch Shell, which I have, because I think it works out better for me being a UK resident. Uh, I will try and figure that out again and sort of put that in another video, because there are various forms of certain stocks, and certain stocks have implications depending on where you're based. But I'll mention that in the video. Now, I'll just go through and pick up some Starbucks. Now, it is kind of a basic company, but um, it's just got that model which continues to work. It is only 
growing in the long term. In a minute, it's got a little bit of a dip, which is why I'm hoping these will be at a, a bit of a cheaper price than normal. But it's a very good model. Um, it does pay a dividend, not a very high one, but it is very sort of sustainable. People always go for the coffee and it's the power of a brand in a minute. Starbucks is very much the brand for coffee, in my opinion. And along with Starbucks, we are going to pick up some Apple. Again, it's just a steady company. It's the powerhouse. And I can't see myself going too wrong with this as well. Not so much a dividend company, in my opinion. It's more of a growth and it's sort of the top dollar companies now. Um, the dividend is that low, it's, it's neither here or there, but the potential and the growth in Apple is still there, as long as they're branching out into different products. So we're going to get some Apple and 3M as well, I'm just going to pick up some more of that for this week. Uh, it is a holding I would like to extend because it is a very consistent dividend, um, so that will be something we'll get as well. And with any money left, I'll just chuck a little bit more into BlackBerry, um, because I still think in terms of a long-term buy, I do think there's still potential there. This crash and this slight dip we're on at the minute, I think it's only giving me more of an opportunity for the future to pick up some more stocks at a much lower price. And I'll continue to build up my holdings for that as well. So those are my stocks for this week. Um, I think it's been quite a week. I don't think next week will quite hit the heights of this week. But if it is, I'll make sure I do mention it in my video for next week. But I hope you have enjoyed. So if you have any sort of comments or any suggestions, please leave them in the comments and I will try my best to reply to them. Please let me know what you think of this week in, uh, in investing. I mean, Wall Street bets and the whole GameStop incident. I don't think we'll see it again, in my opinion. Let me know what you think. But I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed. Hopefully next week we are doing a bit better in terms of gains and we don't lose all the gains we make in the week like we did this week. And I'll see you guys in the video next week.